Hello again. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use association rules classes uh, from the Weka API in your Java source code. If you don't know what uh, association rules are, then uh, in my YouTube channel, you will find several videos uh, explaining what they are and different algorithms and techniques of extracting them. But briefly, um, what people do is uh, when you have sets of items or objects in transaction databases so notice it's a transaction database one or more then these sets of items and objects are analyzed to find frequent patterns so what what frequent patterns we have in those sets of items you know what associations what correlations do we have and this is often done by uh, big supermarkets to do basket analysis if you so if you have uh, ever wondered how uh, large supermarkets design the layout of the, the superstores then now you know that they do um, the extract association rules they check which items have been bought together and then try to put them close to each other so people buy them more yeah through this impulse buying anyway go back to your youtube channel and find my videos on what association rules are and what are uh, and the algorithms that i explain now in Weka it's quite simple all you need to do is uh, just go to package weka.associations uh, a priori um, so um, if I show you here so we have here this package um, weka.associations and here we have several classes one of them is the a priori class if we click on there then it's a class. I'm sorry. It's a class implementing an a priori type algorithm. Iteratively, iteratively reduces the minimum support until it finds the required number of rules with the giving minimum uh, confidence. So basically, we can use that class, but we need to set, uh, uh, for example, the uh, minimum value of confidence, things like that. So we just need to basically set the environments. If we, I'm sorry, not, not the environments, the options. Uh, so we could, there's option minus n required number of rules output minus t the confidence and so on and so forth for example minus c the minimum metric score of a rule default is here as you see for this one is 0.9 uh, for uh, for the number of rules is 10 and uh, so on and so forth now the list of methods here you can have a look at uh, you know get delta for example to get the value of delta as I said I'm assuming you know what social rules are if not then please go back to my YouTube channel and watch the videos over there but anyway some a lot of get methods and also likewise a lot of set methods as well to uh, set for example the parameter set the number of rules or to set the options in general right so to use the a priori class all we need to do is import it and then load data the usual way so i'm, I'm using here whether nominal but hopefully you have a proper i mean market database rather than whether uh, this is just to show you how it works so we'll just access the data get the instances object and then we we'll just instantiate the a priori class up a priori model equals new a priori we build the model using the data and then if we just print out the model itself that will show us the uh, induced rules or the extracted rules. It's system out the print line, and then print out the model itself. It will show us the list of rules. If I if I now execute and then show you here, it has actually extracted rules from the weather data. You know, this is not this is not uh, a market database. It's not a transaction database. But as I said, I'm just here showing you how it works. Now, apart from the a priori algorithm, you can have a look here and um, see whether you want to use other um, um, uh, classes now i'm going to stop here thank you very much for watching that's how you can use association rules in general as I said remember to set the parameters if you need to otherwise i'll see you in my next video